Welcome to ITTV for Form 3 Science, where we continue through the world of respiration. Today's lesson, the importance of a healthy respiratory system. Now, you need your respiratory system to be top-notch and healthy because it needs to bring the oxygen into your system and you need that oxygen for the process of respiration. Remember, respiration is the process whereby we make energy in our body. It's very important to have a healthy respiratory system, especially if you play sports or you're very active because you need large quantities of oxygen. Also, you need a good respiratory system to help you in your older age because this is when you need to have oxygen because, you know, you're not going to be so active but you still need to do your respiratory processes. Oxygen that is needed for respiration. The oxygen is in the air that we breathe. The air that we breathe in may contain substances which are harmful to our respiratory system. Now, here the problem doesn't really lie so much with you, but it lies with the whole human race and how we've polluted our air. Because our air is full of pollution and different types of air pollution, all these, when inhaled into our lungs, can cause a whole variety of problems for us. Now, most of it is obviously not our fault because we never put these chemicals into the air. But nonetheless, you do still need to breathe the air in, which means that you need to be cautious about what you are breathing in and how it can affect you. But sometimes we also put things into our lungs that we ought not to. And really here we're talking about cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke is not something that someone put in the air around you. It is something that you yourself are putting into your lungs. Now that is if you don't mind my saying, kind of not very smart because your respiratory system, you only have one and it cannot refix itself if it is damaged. Harmful substances are pollutants, bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms. These are things that are in our air and we do need to take care. They can cause all sorts of things, like if you inhale a bacteria, it can cause you to have a flu, or if you inhale a virus, it can cause you to have a much more dangerous disease, like for instance H1N1 or SARS. Pollutants could be dust, smoke, toxic gases or cigarette smoke. The dust comes from industrialization, when we cut down trees and build up areas, dust is released into the air. The smoke comes from open burning or even from peat fires that may occur in our jungles. Toxic gases, these are the gases that are released from large industry or even from power stations where they're burning fuel. Finally, cigarette smoke. Now, this one is not caused by anybody except for yourself. It is foolish to smoke cigarettes and to put smoke into your lungs. Now that we've had a look at pollutants and some of the other harmful substances in our air, let's try one or two questions on what we've done so far. What harmful substances can the air contain? So remember, we've been through this list. You can get a flu from it. You can get a bad disease from it. Okay, you can get asthma from it. These are the things that are in the air. Can you remember what they were? If you can come up with three of them, that would be fantastic. Let's write them down. And now let's check the answer. Pollutants, bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms. If you said pollutants, bacteria, and viruses, that would be exactly correct. Let's try another question. Name three examples of pollutants. Remember, these are the things that we release into our air or we put into our lungs by ourselves. So can you remember three of them at least? Write them down. Let's check the answer. Dust, 
toxic gases and cigarette smoke. Now that we've done those questions, let's move into the main part of the lesson and have a look at the dangers of cigarettes and the cigarette smoke itself. Smoking is very harmful to the respiratory system. The three most hazardous chemicals in cigarette smoke are tar, nicotine and carbon monoxide. According to research that's been done on cigarette smoke and cigarette smoking, it's been estimated that there are some six to seven hundred different chemicals that are dangerous to you that are contained inside the cigarette. You've got to understand what we put inside cigarettes. We've got to put chemicals inside the cigarette that slow down the burning process so that the cigarette burns longer. There's also paper inside or around the outside of the cigarette, I beg your pardon, that's also going to burn. There are all sorts of chemicals in there to make sure that the tobacco, remember tobacco is a leaf and it's going to deteriorate, bacteria is going to affect it and it's going to start to decompose. So they need to put preservative chemicals inside to make sure that the cigarette, tobacco itself, doesn't decompose while it's sitting in the box. So you can imagine how many chemicals they need to add to the cigarette tobacco just to make the cigarette work. Out of all these six, seven hundred, the three most dangerous are the tar, the nicotine and the carbon monoxide. Let's start by looking at tar, which seems to be the worst of the three. Tar, nicotine and carbon monoxide. These are poisons that can kill. Tar collects in the lungs as tobacco cools down. So as the tobacco smoke goes into your lungs and cools down, the tar basically solidifies and puts a layer of tar inside your lungs. It turns your lungs into a black colour. Now this tar is exactly the same tar that we use for tarring our roads. So you can imagine that the stuff we use to hold our roads together, that is the stuff that's going into your lungs and putting a layer in it. Tar is a mixture of many toxic chemicals. Many of these substances are carcinogens, that is, they cause cancer. So tar itself is dangerous, but tar and all its chemical substances within it is very, very dangerous. Please be very, very cautious. Please understand the dangers of tar because, you know, when you smoke, you don't see the tar. The tar only appears in your lungs after the tobacco smoke has cooled down. Carcinogen means can cause cancer. Most of the chemicals in cigarettes are basically classified as carcinogenic or carcinogens, which means that it's not just tar that can possibly cause cancer in your lungs. All five or six hundred of the chemicals can cause cancer in your lungs. This means there is a 500% higher chance, just by simple math, that you could possibly get cancer if you smoked compared to if you did not smoke. Tar causes lung cancer. Now, there are many people who would argue that tar does not cause lung cancer. Most of these people probably work for a cigarette company. I'll give you the argument that a typical person from a cigarette company would give you. He or she would say, I make cigarettes. I make cigarettes so that you smoke cigarettes. But why would I want to kill you? You are my customer. I need you to stay alive. You see, this is what the cigarette company will say to you. But what the scientists will tell you is, Cigarettes, tar especially, causes cancer. There's no two ways about it, it causes cancer. Now that we've had a look at tar and the basic idea of cigarettes, let's try one or two questions on what we've done. Name three harmful substances in cigarette smoke. Now I know there's many, many chemicals in the cigarette. We only want the three main culprits that are associated with respiratory diseases 
from cigarettes. Can you remember the three? Let's check. Tar, nicotine and carbon monoxide. So tar, nicotine and carbon monoxide are the three most harmful substances in cigarettes. For now, I'm sure research will soon tell us that all the other 497 chemicals are equally as dangerous. Let's try another question. What is a carcinogen? So remember, a carcinogen is a type of chemical that causes a particular type of disease, a very dreadful disease. Can you remember the name of the disease? Let's check the answer. Substances that cause cancer. So carcinogens are substances that cause cancer. Now that we've had a look at tar, let's move on to the other two, nicotine and carbon monoxide, and investigate their effect on the respiratory system. Nicotine in tobacco causes an addiction to smoking. Now, what we mean by an addiction to smoking is, well, you become addicted. And when you become addicted, it means that you need to smoke even though you don't need to smoke. It takes control of your brain and it sort of tells the brain constantly that smoking will make you happy. Smoking will make you happy. And because you're constantly thinking that smoking will make me happy, and we all want to be happy, you ultimately end up smoking. And then you ultimately end up getting cancer. Also, in pregnant women, it's been shown that nicotine can actually cause uh, problems for the growth and mental growth of a child that is growing in the mother's womb. So pregnant mothers must definitely stay away from cigarettes due to the ill effects of nicotine on the fetus. Carbon monoxide is also present in cigarette smoke. It is a highly poisonous gas. Carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen in the blood. So this gas, carbon monoxide, is very, very dangerous because when it gets into you, it competes with oxygen for hemoglobin. And when it joins with the red blood cell or the hemoglobin, it doesn't let go. Normally oxygen will join hemoglobin and then release from hemoglobin. But carbon monoxide does not do this. Carbon monoxide, when it joins hemoglobin, it stays there and never lets go. Which means that red blood cell now is quite useless and cannot be used. So ultimately, it reduces the amount of oxygen we can carry because it reduces the amount of red blood cells available for oxygen transport. Now that we've had a look at nicotine and carbon monoxide, let's try one or two questions on these two chemicals. What is nicotine? Now, we know nicotine is a chemical substance, but what is its effect on you? Have you written down an answer? Let's have a look at the answer. An addictive drug. Nicotine is an addictive drug. Let's try another question. How does carbon monoxide affect you? How does carbon monoxide affect you? Now remember, I said that it competed with something in your blood system. What did it compete with and what did it cause as a result of this competition? Have you written an answer down? Let's check. It reduces amount of oxygen in blood. So carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen in blood which is very very dangerous because it means it reduces the amount of oxygen that we have for respiratory or respiration. Now that we've had a look at the main three chemicals in cigarettes, tar, nicotine and carbon monoxide, let's have a look at some other pollutants out there that can cause trouble. Pollutants from motor vehicles such as carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen and hydrocarbons are also harmful. Each of these when they go into your body have got different effects. They can cause acidic buildup in your lungs, they can cause your trachea to become slightly closed, they can cause fluid in your lungs, 
all of these pollutants in the air are very, very dangerous. So please, if you're standing by the roadside, do cover your nose. Don't stand behind a vehicle that's producing a lot of exhaust gas. All of these basically mean that you're inhaling all these pollutants and they're damaging your lungs without you even knowing. Car pollutants cause problems like chronic bronchitis, emphysema, asthma, and lung cancer. So these are just some of the diseases that are related to pollutants or air pollution in our environment. So once again, please be very cautious about the pollution that's in the air. Try to avoid these pollutants if possible. Now, these pollutants always come out in your examination. What they want you to know is the type of pollution, where it comes from, and what its effect is on you. So what is very important is that you create some sort of table. Now on the slide that you can see, I've created a mock table for you. In this table, you'll notice that on the column on the left hand side, we've written down all the chemical substances that are dangerous to respiration. Tar, nicotine, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrocarbons, oxides of nitrogen, haze. The second column is for sources, which means where does it come from? Example, tar, it comes from cigarette. Sulfur dioxide comes from the burning of fossil fuels. So you need to list out all of these sources. Then list out the symptoms that one would have if they were being affected by these pollutants. Can't breathe properly, uh, coughing all the time, things like that. Finally, in the final column, please write down the damaging effects. It can cause cancer, it can cause bronchitis, it can cause emphysema. Go through your books, use the internet, type these things out, fill up this table, and then try to write the table out two or three times so that you start to recall the pollutants, the sources, their symptoms, and the damaging effects that they have on you. Look, it's very important that you guys out there and girls understand how important the respiratory system is. You must know what can cause damage to it. If you are smoking, please stop. If you are exposing yourself to a large quantity of pollutant gases, meaning that you're hanging out by the roadside, you're standing behind buses after school, try to avoid all of these. Because once again, you only have two lungs. And if they start to get damaged and not work correctly, it will affect you for the rest of your life. That's all the time we have for today's lesson. Thank you for watching ITTV.